A very good morning to everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options with your morning market preparation video for November 21st, 2017. Well, it's Tuesday morning and we are a couple of days away from Thanksgiving. The bulls are pushing nicely today. Boy, I got to tell you, it was really nice to see the bulls step up and, and push higher yesterday defending that support level that was kind of a, a concern that they would um, step up and defend that and they certainly did and now we're gapping up this morning um, on the back of some good earnings but we're gapping back up here toward this high of last week now one of the things that's nice if you take a look at this one two three four five straight days we've reversed Every single one of those five days, not one follow through to the direction. So this will be the first day in a week where we've actually had the opportunity for a follow through of a daily signal. And that's kind of nice <laughs> instead of chopping back and forth. And there were some other clues to that um, yesterday that began to develop. First, if we take a look at the VIX. The VIX that was kind of stubbornly holding on to this support level finally gave way and sliced right on through that support level, suggesting that fear might be dropping just slightly um, for now anyway. I'm not suggesting it's going to stay down there, but just that fear is kind of uh, falling out of the market here. And then in the transports... The IYT here, uh, Dow Transport, um, we, we saw this move down, rally back, and then it was failing again. But we saw a little bit of uh, bullish price action here to hold support. Now, I'm not going to suggest that um, this is a bullish chart in any way, shape, or form. What I am suggesting is that we could see at least a little bit of a bullish a rally here a little bounce off of support to maybe help the markets here just a little bit so if we go back to that diamonds chart the dow is looking strong this morning bulls are pushing up as of right this second we're looking at about an 80 point uh pop this morning and across the board um the futures um are are looking pretty good so we could see a nice move in the markets today. And perhaps even if enough traders got short thinking that the market was going to fall apart, we could even trigger a bit of a short squeeze today with such a bullish move and really force some of those short traders out of the market. And that, of course, pushes the market higher. So kind of keep an eye on that. If that short squeeze does trigger we could get an unusually sharp rally today. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY really didn't do anything yesterday. It just kind of chopped around right here at this resistance level. And you can see this morning, it's popping up here and could actually print a new record high today, particularly if they can trigger that short squeeze and just really push it through. And in that situation, we could really see a, a, a substantial rally today if that were to occur so let's watch this resistance level up here that'll be key if we pop up there and it's rejected then we may have some problems ahead but right now everything looks bullish everything seems to be coming up roses so let's uh, take advantage of that and make some money huh let's take a look at the cues cues <clears throat> really just camped out yesterday <clears throat> just couldn't get anything going. It's like it was just sliding. Wasn't able to pick up any traction. Now this morning, we're getting a gap up here in the queues, right back up here to this resistance level. So it's going to be critical how we deal with that resistance level. So here again, the spies in the queue will be really important how they deal with that price level. If we can blast through there, if we've got enough energy to push on through, print new record highs, we could be in for a big, strong rally today. So hang on, it could be fun. 
And even the IWM, um, remarkably, has responded back strongly. And you can see this morning it's gapping up right up here near this um, resistance high that's held this index down for so long. There just really hasn't been any participation. Well, this is a sharp rally back. Now, I'm not suggesting that IWM is just going to, you know, blast right through there. It, it could, just the sheer momentum of this move could push it right through. But let's watch that closely. And if it can push through, that would be one of the first times that the Russell has actually picked up and help the overall market by moving higher so could be a good sign we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that guy if we take a look at um t2122 t2122 as you can see here is rallying back up toward that bearish reversal zone now, we've got a ways to go before we get up here and we're uh, in that situation where this could reverse. Because remember, we can hang around up here for a while. So keep in mind that we're rallying up strongly toward that. That's a good sign. And we want that to continue uh, to help us make those nice profits today, right? Let's take a look at the economic calendar. On the economic calendar, we have kind of a slow day going on. Um, but we do have one very important report today, and that report is the existing home sales. We want to keep an eye on those existing home sales. Right now, forecasters are expecting a nice um, upward move um, in existing home sales, meaning getting stronger which uh, should help the market overall. And then we have Janet Yellen speaking today after the market's close at uh, 6 p.m. And that's really the only two things that really look like it could move the market. Um, also keep in mind, we have a couple of big reports, three uh, pretty sizable reports tomorrow. And sometimes the market can just stall a little bit ahead of those big reports. Remember, no matter what we do, this is a holiday week. And it's not retail traders that move the market. It is the big institutions. And you have to realize that the big institutions will be starting to um, see lots of vacations occur. Um, traders taking extra time off, extending their holiday vacation. So we could actually see this market pop this morning and really go nowhere as volumes begin to drop off rather quickly. So I'm, I'm not suggesting that will happen today. I'm saying it's possible. But what we will probably witness is volumes starting to do to decline um, sometime tomorrow for sure. And they could get um, so anemic that even the best signal in the market um, a best signal on a chart the stock may not move it it'll just die on the vine because there's just no volume behind it so keep that in mind as you plan your trades going forward and how you're going to handle your portfolio risk as we go into a holiday weekend okay keep that in mind on the earnings calendar today we have about <clears throat> well we had um just under um, 60 companies that were reporting today. Um, that has dropped significantly already because so many have reported. Um, well, we've dropped to 55, but s several have reported. And um, we'll want to keep an eye on those. So there's several several companies to to maybe make note of one being lowe's lowe's reported this morning and initially was popping clear up here now it's pulling back slightly so kind of keep that in mind as we move forward but there's about 60 companies reporting this morning so we always have to pay attention to those because we never know how they might affect the overall market so Keep an eye to those earnings reports. With that, 
I want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribes and clicks those like buttons and follow me button on, you know, on Facebook. I really do appreciate it. You guys are great. I, it, it's awesome. The, the great comments that I get on these videos. Um, so, Hey, if you're brand new and, and have not seen this before, please do me a favor. Click on that subscribe button on YouTube and, and the follow me button on Facebook and, you know, click that like button. Those thumbs up buttons really help. And please feel free to drop a comment. And anyone, feel free to share this video with friends, family, whoever, um, if you think it might help them prepare for their trading day. Everyone take care. Have a great day. I wish you great profits. And I will be talking to you all tomorrow morning. Take care, everyone.